Hello, baby. You're beautiful. I love you. What's your name? Bitch. You make an idiot with the fuck, bitch. You make an idiot with the fuck. You make an idiot with the fuck, bitch. You make an idiot with the fuck. You make an idiot with the fuck, bitch. You make an idiot with the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I was so close to becoming the ultimate ninja! The ultimate ninja? Ninjas! So, I want to talk about ninjas. And more importantly, I want to talk about uh, a certain type of ninja, which is uh, vintage ninjas. Ninjas from the 1980s to the 1990s. Now, this is before Ninja Turtles and stuff. This is ninjas that, um, there was a time in which it was called ninja exploitation. And this is all the ninja films that you could shake a stick at. Now, before I get into my uh, moral standpoint of ninja films, I wanted, I need to address two people that, that ninja exploitation wouldn't exist. And that is uh, Joseph Lai and Godfrey Ho. If you look at like their IMDb page and see the movies that they produced and made, you would see a striking number of film, probably in the hundreds, that they made from the early 70s to the 90s that had the word ninja in it. They're low-budgeted, uh, Z-budget films, uh, I would say along the lines of uh, the, the cheapest films made possible. And, they, and a lot of them starred uh, Richard Harrison, who was uh, a British actor, who uh, actually came to film like maybe five ninja movies, but then he ended up being in like over a hundred of ninja movies, which the, the how they did that was Godfrey Ho was uh, a master of mixing media. And by that I mean he would take uh, footage from uh, say, like an unreleased martial arts film or an unfinished martial arts film, splice the footage, and then make one complete story with that footage that he shot. Now, what's interesting about this is that this was never done before. So, I mean, this is kind of something that, uh, in all fairness, uh, led to today's remix culture and how we take footage and stuff. And, like, it's funny, too, because if you look at the dubbing, of these films, you could see uh, which footage is from uh, that version of the film and which footage was really, really shot. So look at this. Chum, your technique is not bad at all. <laughs> Where's your brother? I've come here to challenge your brother to a duel with me, you bastard. Where is he? Now, the reason for this video is uh, a type of ninja film that I want to get into and that is ninja films that don't actually have ninjas in them. Now you see right on the box that there are ninjas in this movie. I mean just look at these boxes you would think holy crap this is an awesome ninja movie and then when you watch it there's no ninjas in it. This is the part of shit I think about. Now uh, I am a person that is uh, would always say like be yourself. Right? And in this case, ninja movies, um, these ninja movies were basically just martial arts films that they repackaged and put a ninja logo or label right on the, the box so that it would fool people like me to just buy them because they have ninjas in them. Now these films aren't necessarily bad, it's just almost lying to me right off the bat. Now um, why this is important is that uh, you should be yourself and you shouldn't dress a different way because like you know ninja movies I, I like you but I mean if you lie to me right off the bat I'm not gonna like you so uh, just tell the truth be yourself and that is shit I think about cut it piss on it shit on it it's <laughs> <laughs> Kind of hard talking with this thing on. <laughs>